Irina, for you, out of all the big reveals, it was very obvious that you and Zach had a pretty awkward first meeting. Um, when did you know it wouldn't work out? All right. So I would say there wasn't any like initial moment where I was like, this guy isn't it. But I think seeing him, there were so many also add-ons. There was meeting people and there was like going to Mexico and there was actually spending every day with somebody. And I think I just had this core, I think seeing him, I think it was just hard. Like I can't explain it. It was just a lot harder for me than I thought it was gonna be. And I think that's probably why it was a little awkward to watch as well. And, but I think it was just drawing out the whole experience. There's just something in my gut that I felt like I was trying to force this this like energy and this feeling with, with Zach that I just wasn't having. And I and I, I feel like I it almost made me closed off to him. Like I just almost couldn't open up that side of me that I wanted to. It was like there was just a barrier between us. And I just honestly think- we Yeah, you could tell you were feeling each other really from the beginning. And you talk about being around everybody else and being in Mexico and you, you were clearly feeling Paul, who was the man of your best friend in this whole thing. Um, where was the girl code in all of that? Okay, this is what I will say for the record and to clear everything up. I would never intentionally try to make a move on Paul. I had some alcohol at the pool party and I think we're being, I was being a little flirty with him. I know that him, like, I think that meeting him right away, I did feel this natural energy and connection with him that I didn't have with Zach. And that helped me realize what I want in my future husband that I didn't have with Zach. I would never go and try to pursue something with Paul. I think I had one bad moment that was out of character of not who I am in the pool that does not define who I am. And I think that I told Micah right away. I told her the moment the producers asked me about Paul, I told him that I had feelings for him, but it wasn't in the sense of like, oh my gosh, I have a crush on him. I want to go spend time with him and try to pursue him. It was in the sense of like, hey, I'm realizing that I feel something for this person and this, this energy that I'm not feeling with my fiance, which is not okay. And so that conversation was very, very important to have. And I think we're both mature to talk through it and work through it. But I just want to make that very clear that I would not go out with Paul and try to like sneak behind her back and make this thing. I think the moment that the, I was had a lot of alcohol when that happened. And the moment that I told the, you know, said it on camera that I had feelings for him, I told Micah right away. Okay. And it wasn't in the sense I want to pursue something with him. It was in the sense of saying like, hey, I want to let you know because I'm going to be open with you because you're my best friend. Right. Micah, where does your friendship stand with Irina? Because you said, y'all seem to be like thick as thieves in the pods. Yeah, I think that we were a really good, um, mix it in the pods. I think it was really nice to have someone to like laugh with and joke with in a situation that is so serious. It's nice to be able to, you know, take a breath. Um, I think that, you know, the way that our friendship kind of played out and everything that happened with Paul was really hurtful. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think that if two people are able to like work through something, it will make the friendship stronger. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens with our friendship. Mm -hmm.